Flush Racing. And in this video, we're gonna be swapping a 440cc Duramax E-Star onto my yard car. This Duramax makes three times the horsepower as the Predator 212 we had on it before, and also four times the torque. So it's gonna be a huge noticeable difference. And we also got some little pod lights for the front and a sweet little switch panel. It has a full 10 inch hydraulic disc brake setup, as well as a custom little rack and pinion setup for some super smooth steering. As well as some Go Power Sports Springer spindles, custom bumpers, tow hooks, brand new axle, and some 18 inch meats in the back. So first, I'm gonna move this 62 sprocket over a bit, so that way we have room to cut into the stock 212 motor mount. All right, so now I'm gonna cut off this old 212 motor mount so that I can get ready to install the 420 slash 670 cc motor mount. Okay, so Paul just got most of the welds grinded down, but um, there's a couple spots that we really can't hit, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, what are we gonna do, Paul? I think we're gonna break out Big Bertha. Big Bertha in here or what? Here's something, but it's not work. Bertha. It could work. It's no Bertha, but it might do. This is like... Small Bertha. This is like small Bertha. And Big Bertha is probably like from here to the ceiling. Is that Big Bertha I see over there? I think it is. That might be Big Bertha's sister. No, no, no. That's Big Bertha. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, holy. Here she is. Oh, yeah. This is right next to all the big boy tools. Yep. Oh, you want to? This Big Bertha. Oh my god. I mean, there's really nothing stopping this much leverage. There's nothing. Oh my gosh. What's going on in here? You trying I don't to- I it'll go thin enough. I mean, I'm sure it'll, it has to close all the way. I think it'll work. Oh trying to tame Big Bertha in here. Oh yeah. All right, let's try to get this, uh, Try to get birth out in here. Yeah, there's no way. Oh my god. Dude, how easy is that to do? It's bit, like, I'm not even trying, and I just talk over that thing. Dude. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I think I heard a weld break there. Dude, I did too. Look at that. Just like that, we got some fresh new motor mount rails. Looking brand new. So this thing is looking beautiful. It was like it was made for this go-kart. Yeah. Other than the old motor mount. But, man, it looks great. I don't know, Paul thinks it's gonna wheelie, but I'm really not sure. I would almost say it's definitely not gonna wheelie. But I mean, I'm, I'm super hopeful because it is like an extra like 30 pounds in the back. More. And I mean, Quadruple torque is pretty wild, you know? That is true, but like, maybe with a torque converter, but I think the clutch is less likely to wheelie. Yeah, I mean, in Grindhard's videos, they wheelie everything, but they're also running like 500cc, like, yeah, and I mean, engines, you know, like this is just a single cylinder, just like central. Yeah, bottom. and the thing is, their weight distribution is like completely different than this. Yeah, that's true. They sit all the way in the back with the engine in the front, and I mean, yeah. in most cases, you weigh way more than the engine. The rider is the biggest that's actually fast. weight. I never thought the... it like that. Yeah. The engine does make a difference, but the rider is the most weight in the car. Yeah. Okay. Unless you have a fat that's engine. Pretty damn nice. But yeah. That's sick. Now we just gotta weld the motor plate in, get everything wired up, run the chain, throttle, and it should be ready to go. And the switch. 
Yeah. The only thing that's gonna suck is um, making the uh, brackets for the switch. Cause we have to make four individual tabs and drill holes in every single one. Honestly, it just runs self, self capos. Yeah. Because I mean, it's not a structural thing. It's I just a right switch. Yeah. So you could definitely tell the motor's crooked right now. Obviously not tacked in. So what I'm doing is I got this little Harbor Freight angle finder. I put it on the axle. You can't really see the screen, but then I zero it out and then I stick it right on the motor plate and tilt it until I get it to zero. See if I could just get a quick zero for the camera. It's kind of hard looking through the screen, but you get the idea. Hello. Did you change the settings at all? No. That is close as all do. Keep it going. That's your second shot. The smoke looks good. I like it in the... Looking fresh. Motor plate looks really good. We got it all squared and level. All we need to do is just wiring, chain, throttle, and what else? Um, switch panel make, brackets. Yes, yeah, switch panel brackets. But I think that's chill. Like, yeah, that's all just like little yeah, tinkering. The only thing I'm uh, really worried, worried about is the throttle cable because there's no like cable mounts for it or anything. We're gonna have to like weld nuts to the arms and stuff. But it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I mean, I think we will definitely be able to make it, but. All right, how's it going, guys? It's currently Sunday, and we started this build on Thursday. We just came back to tighten up a few loose ends. All we have to do is the throttle cable, a few more things with the wiring, like uh, wiring up the headlights and stuff, and then just um, concealing the wiring, like putting it in a loom, and then this thing's ready to go. Yeah, it's looking good, dude. Especially with that electric start. I don't know if you guys saw from that last clip, but like. You gotta like it turns put right the over. kill switch. Oh yeah. Like, like I got this little kill switch. Yeah, we switch got a nice little too. kill switch. That's Sick, nice, dude. dude. Such a nice switch panel. We don't have the footage for it, but we came up here like about a week ago. And that's why this video is so delayed. We came up here like a week ago and this torque converter was just beat. Like it would just swallow the bell. It just wasn't working at all. So we borrowed the torque converter off of a different project and it is so much better. Like literally I wasn't even pressing the gas like most of that time. Like I was literally just like nearly like idling over everything. Like Dude, that's high. There's so much torque.
That's true. Yeah, it's we gonna not get out. The flat slides. Dude, that thing is crazy. I don't know if you'll even be able to make it up that, dude. Yeah. I, it looks pretty wild from over here. Yeah, and also, I think the thing is, it's like... I have no cage or helmet. Yeah. And like, for how steep it is, it lasts a long time. Yeah. Like, you're going for a minute. That's true. But it does look like it cuts off to the left right there for a super chill trail. Yeah, but it's very skinny. I don't know if we have the, the width for that, you know? Yeah. And the thing is, I just don't like, like I feel safe in this thing, but With that looks no brutal. Cage. And like, if the carb cuts out and the engine dies, and I like slam on the brakes and I just roll backwards, like my neck's just gone. Like I'm, I'm just dead. Yeah, with no cage, that, that's in cage territory. Like yeah, dude, you need a cage need for that. Cage. Forerunner's taking the easy way out, but um, we're not going the easy way. We're gonna go straight up through that little hell. Yeah, you can see right there's there. like a little chill route that goes off to that side. And then there's just a wall right there, so. Yeah. The only other time I started rolling backwards and I didn't have the nice hydraulic disc brakes and I like turned and just flipped over. Yeah, and that was died. the second time he rolled it. Yeah. So I've rolled this thing like three times already. Yeah, but the thing is now if the motor does decide to cut out, he has the nice brakes so he'll be yeah, able to slow down. With drum brakes, you can't stop going downhill. It'll just mess up the drum brakes and you're just left to die. Like, yeah, like if you're going backwards, you the drum brakes just don't work. Exactly. So. so I had to make the switch because we've been sending this thing. Yeah. Hey, look at this air filter, dude. That's what they're there for. No, look. <laughs> hey, mm. just um. I'll get it's up. even worse. Alright, All right, we're starting on a very steep hint on here. Is your kill switch on? Yeah. Okay, buddy. I'm scared, dude. Just run it. Hit it. Dude, he kicks on some dust with those tires. That was scary. <laughs> Alrighty. And I doubt you can see on video, dude, that hill is steep. Yeah, like, I don't, maybe it looks a little better from the top. It's pretty steep. I'd say it's like a 25 degree. Yeah, we can even get the angle finder on it, but... We could. It's pretty steep, dude. Yeah. Are uh, you ready? Yeah. Dude, I don't know if you guys could see that through the dust, but he was like actually wheeling that thing insane. That was crazy. Guys, we made it to the very top of P Mountain on our second try with the Duro Max. The first time the torque converter was all messed up, but it's chill because we fixed it. But we got Tony's truck up here, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this was a blast. I we're gonna try to get videos up like every two weeks. We don't know, like we try to do that this video, like we try to post it two weeks after the 24 hour build. But clearly that didn't happen just because we had to wait for parts to come and all that stuff. But we'll try to get it, try to be more on top of it and 
probably the next video is gonna be riding the 24 hour build. We just had to tie up a few things like with the, uh, the brakes and stuff, but other than that, it should be good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.